Hello and welcome to the trimester two kindergarten overview. So this unit is all about force in motion and the three uh, performance expectations in this bundle are the three here on your screen. Uh, the big idea that the students will generate after the initial engagement activity is objects move, turn, speed up, slow down, or stop because they are pushed or pulled. In general, we're just wanting students to uh, come away from this unit knowing that um, it forces a push or pull and they can do these different things to an object. They don't just push them, they don't just pull them, they don't just make them go, they actually do these different things. Uh, so the storyline kind of for the teachers is objects move, turn, speed up, slow down, or stop because they are pushed or pulled. Stronger pushes and pulls move an object differently than weaker pushes or pulls. We can imagine or design, which we'll do at the end in the engineering challenge, and build ways to move an object the way we want using pushes or pulls without using our body to touch the object. And that more aligns with uh, near the end you're going to create a simple Rube Goldberg machine and they'll see the objects move uh, and they won't need your push or pull from you. Um, they want you to show that objects uh, when they're moving can collide with other objects and make them move so it doesn't all have to come from a person. So here's the overview of the unit. Um, you'll start out with an initial engagement activity where they're going to have a race and they're going to think about different ways uh, that they made their vehicle move. You'll have a negotiation after that and come up with some ideas. And the simple big idea um, could be pushes and pulls cause movement. Or you could expand up on that a little bit and say pushes or pulls cause or stop movement. Um, the first activity is going to be, and again, we want the students to come up with questions and we would hope they would come up with something similar to this of just what causes movement? Uh, what type of movement can we cause? Something along those lines. And uh, with this, we would have students go through an activity where they are going to um, demonstrate some different ways that they can make objects move, and we would want to classify those as either pushes or pulls. They would have a negotiation, they'd come up with a claim, they would go then check with the experts, they would negotiate again after they checked with the experts, and then they would revise that claim. And then they would go to the form of assessment that we created. Uh, the second investigation is what made the object move? Does how hard I push or pull make a difference? So this one is really kind of keying in on this performance expectation about the strength of a force uh, making an object move. So we're going to have, uh, this is going to be pretty much the same activity that we had in last year's units where you're going to have blocks and paper clips and straws and you're going to try to make them move and hopefully students are going to recognize that the harder the force or the stronger the force I should say, uh, the farther the object's going to move. So they're going to negotiate that idea here, uh, make some claims, go check with the experts, negotiate again, add some of that vocabulary into their second claim or their revised claim, then you have a form of assessment. The third investigation is what happens um, when objects collide with each other. So this is going to be the uh, drop in the bucket or, or the marble run activity where we're going to have some marbles hitting into each other and the students are going to observe um, you know, if you have a faster moving marble, it's going to make the other marble move backwards. If you have a marble with more mass, it could make that other marble move backwards. So again, they'll make some claims off that. Same scenario, check with the experts, make a new clay, revise it, and then have a formative assessment. Then finally, so all of these activities, you can hopefully see that uh, they're kind of related to this idea of force is push and pull and it can change the movement of an object and then you will have students create a very simple Rube Goldberg machine and we'll get more into that in the individual lessons um, and then they will write about that in their Lucy writing. So 
that is the overview of kindergarten trimester two.